Well, 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 what do we got here? Can somebody explain to me how a good young man like Shane Pinto can get tangled up in a gambling scheme like this, huh? Who's responsible for brainwashing this kid? Was it you, Ron? She was Shane Pinto has just gotten his PP slapped by the NHL for basically getting high off of their own supply. You never get high off your own supply. as Colonel Sanders. According to multiple NHL sources right now, Pinto is receiving a 41 game suspension. Yes, you heard that right. 41 games for activities related to sports wagering. He's a he's a Rafi Torres of gambling right now. And I don't know why, but I find this entire situation very sad and also very ironic at the same time. Now, before I go any further, I want to make it clear that this video is definitely not sponsored by BitTree65, okay? So if you go over there and you try and use the promo code PINTO, yeah, it's, it's probably not going to work. But just to shed some further light on the situation, just so you guys are all aware how crazy this is, Shane Pinto, guys, he doesn't even have a contract yet. We're talking about a restricted free agent, a talented young forward who's probably been playing hardball with Sins management over the offseason, you know, trying to make a few extra buckaroos any way he can. Well, no, Shane. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that you can toss all your negotiations out the window. You've rendered yourself useless. The bar is definitely in the Sins court right now in terms of his next contract. It's kind of a win-win in a sick way because he's probably just going to be scrambling to get his name on some paper and serve his 41 games. Get it over with. Shane Pinto had 20 goals and 15 assists last season in 82 games. Sins fans have been just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs about him. He's a second round pick from the 2019 draft. And I don't think there was anybody today that seen this coming. I mean, everybody was expecting him to be signed any minute now. And all jokes aside, just so, you know, we're all on the same page here. If Pinto really does have some kind of a gambling addiction, then I hope he really gets the help that he needs. I still think it's kind of stupid how sports can just shove this stuff down everybody's throat and then turn around and absolutely crush a kid's season for getting involved in the same kind of shit that they've been promoting on television. It, it's sick. But anyway, that's enough for me. This was just too juicy of a topic for me to ignore. You can go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comments section if you're a Sins fan and you're watching this. Hey buddy, how you feeling right now? Don't forget to high stick the like button on the way out of here. And hey, I'll see you next time.